Joining me now to talk about this is personal injury lawyer Ted Spaulding. Good to see you. All right, what do you think about Disney's approach here? Yeah, well, it's great to be with you. Um, it, we were talking, I think it's a Hail Mary. Um, it is a stretch, and it's a stretch in the sense of what's called scope. Um, Florida does deal with this, like a lot of states, the arbitration clauses. Uh, what's unique here is it is not an arbitration clause on a contract or a sporting event or other kind of ticket directly for what you're doing. It's you've signed off on it on something totally unrelated, unrelated. and it should relate is what Disney is saying. So uh, that's where I feel um, in my gut it's probably a stretch. It's probably a Hail Mary. Let's see if we can get this into arbitration versus a jury trial. The theory is can save money potentially if it's arbitration, the, the, the verdict may be lower mm. um, with an arbitrator making a decision uh, versus six to 12 of your peers mm -hmm. in a jury trial. Interesting, so the husband's lawyer say this claim by Disney is so outrageously unreasonable and fair um, as to shock the judicial conscience. Do you think that will be an argument that sticks? Absolutely. He's actually quoting straight from the language. Mm -hmm. So the two areas that I think trip here is the scope, as I was saying earlier, and what this lawyer is, is talking to, which is it's unconscionable. The language and having it be over here on a uh, totally separate, unrelated thing apply to something totally unrelated, mm -hmm. that's unconscionable, shouldn't be allowed. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yes, that's directly speaking to one of their best arguments. Mm. So is this an anomaly or is this something that all of us have to be mindful of now? When you agree, when you're about to buy something online, uh, whether it be a subscription or tickets, anything, and it asks you if you, you agree to the conditions, you check agree before you even get to payment, um, is this a reminder that you need to read all that fine print? Uh, is this a way in which every big company is going to try to protect itself against any potential uh, calamity? Uh, the scare is they already do it. This is nothing new in general, okay? Having waivers, having arbitration clauses, none of that is new. That's why, like Florida, most states have public policy uh, language and laws that say here's where that can apply and here's where it's going too far. So it's nothing new and yes for the public as always you should read the fine print. Um, problem is you either agree to it or move on yeah, and you don't. You're not going to enjoy whatever the product right. is. You, you can't go to that ball game. You can't get Disney Plus. Right. Um, you really don't have any sway to change that language. Mm. Um, it's good to know what it says but then you make a decision Again, the state law hopefully backs you up at the end for something like this that's a big stretch that says, wait a minute, this is totally going a unrelated. little bit too far, shouldn't be allowed. All right, we'll see how it goes. Ted Spaulding, great to see you. Thank you, good Thanks to see so you.